What's going on guys this is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create user registration form in bb.net using SQL server database that means when the user fill the form and click that register button what we need to do is we need to save the user information into the database so let's do it open up visual studio go to file click on new and then click on project select visual basic under the visual basic select windows windows form application and then uh, give the name of your project and then click OK. Now expand that form a little bit and select the form and go to the property of your form and you can change the text of this form user registration and you can also change the background color so go to property and change the back color and this one now from the toolbox drag and drop some labels like eight labels Now where is this label? Now drag and drop some text box. Here goes text box one. Here goes text box two. Here goes text box three. Here goes text box four. Here goes text box 5 and then here goes text box 6. Now uh, we need to drag and drop some combo box. Now select each control and go to the property and change the text. So here goes name. Here goes address. Here goes gender. And here goes phone. Here goes email. Here goes country. Here goes username. And finally, here goes password. You can also increase the font of his control. So select all control and go to the font property, and there you can see the size property. You can give any size of whatever you want, but I am not going to do that. You can do that. Uh, you can drag and drop one button and change the text of this button. Here goes the register. Now select each text box and change the name of each text box so that uh, while we are writing the code, we can uh, remember which text box is associated with the which label. So, here goes txt name, here goes txt address, uh, here goes txt phone, here goes txt email. Here goes txt user and finally here goes txt pass. Now select that combo box and go to the property of that combo box and change the name cmb gender. Again select another combo box and go to the property. Here goes cmb 
country. Now select that gender combo box and go to the property and find the item property and click that collection and here goes male, female and others and then click OK. Again go to country combo box and go to item property here goes and you can uh, insert as many you want so i am going to insert only two country click ok now this is the simple uh, user registration form now what we need to do is we need to create the database in our sql server so open up sql server management studio right click over database click on new database and then give the database name and then click ok now expand that uh, database directory scroll down and find recently created database again expand that database now right click over table and click that table now here we are going to design one table in that table we are going to give some column name so name bear care address bear care gender character and then phone bear care email bear care country character and then a username bear care password bear care now simply press ctrl plus s from your keyboard and give the table name user register and then click ok now go back to visual studio uh, we need to connect this application with the database so go to server explorer right click over data connection click on add connection change the data source to sql server and then click ok now uh, you need to give the server name here you have two options either you can click that drop down icon you will see your server name or you can simply type your server name over here and then select your database and then click OK. Now select that recently connected data connection and go to the property. Copy the connection string. Now we are going to write the code. So double click that register button. Uh, before writing the code, what we need to do is we need to import some namespace so that we can uh, use the class like SQL connection class, SQL command class, which uh, enable us to connect this application with the database and execute the SQL query. So import system dot data import system dot data dot sql clients now inside the clicking event of that button we are going to write the code so dim connection is sql connection is equal to new sql connection and here goes our connection is thing that we recently copied so paste that now dim command is sql command is equal to new sql command here we need to write our sql query in order to create the user registration form what we need to do is we need to save the user information into the database that means we need to insert the data into our database so go back to sql server expand that table right click over table and click on script table is insert to new query simply copy that sql query and then go back to visual studio paste that query now here we are going to provide the value so here single quotes inside to single quotes to double quotes inside to double quotes to plus sign here goes txt name dot text similar process txt address dot text here goes cmb gender dot selected item dot to string
and then txt phone dot text txt email dot text cmb country dot selected item dot to string txt user dot text txt pass dot text now let me check 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 there you go now finally here goes connection now we need to open the connection so connection dot open and we need to execute the SQL query so cmd dot execute non query and then finally we need to display the message to the user so message box dot so you have register successfully and here goes information then message box button dot ok message box icon dot information now we need to close the connection connection dot close that's it now simply save your project or execute your program now here goes some information and then click register message to display you have registered successfully now let's check whether our inserted data is stored in our database or not so go to sql server right click over your table and click on edit top 200 rows there you go name is stored address gender phone email country username password so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this tutorial and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel so subscribe this channel and thank you once again for watching this video i will see you in the next video tutorial until that time have a good day bye bye